Hey, yo, what is up, everybody? Chuck here, and welcome to an All or Nothing Live commentary. Happy spring. We have officially made it through winter, unless, of course, you live in Colorado or the Northeast, in which case, how many people are playing this? 20. There are 20 people playing All or Nothing. That is awesome. Not. Um, unless, of course, you live in the Northeast or Midwest or Colorado, you just got a big snowstorm. I know the Northeast just had that huge one, like, a, two weeks ago or whatever, um, but last night, Colorado, some places, got, like, a foot of snow, not in the mountains, which is insane. Uh, even for April in Colorado, so luckily I wasn't in that area. I didn't get any snow, but uh, praying for those who do because that's just got to be depressing to get snow in April. We have a lot to talk about today. We really have a lot to talk about. Um, I have officially, we're going to start it off by saying this just so you can kind of think about it as the video goes on. Um, I have officially started my Patreon, the Straight Up Knives Patreon. Now, a lot of YouTubers have started doing this, and I used to think it was taboo. Um, but that was normally in the case where you look at a YouTuber who's got 8 million subs and they're pulling in 30 million views a month, which if you, if you don't want to do the math, you can basically assume they're making probably 40,000 a month, which is half a million a year. So uh, for people like that, yes, I think that should that's taboo. That should not be the case. They should not be um, at, unless they're, maybe if they're doing some large project uh, like a feature film or something like that, that's an excuse. But whatever. Anyway, um, I've officially decided to start one to bring Call of Duty content back to my channel. Now, uh, I kind of... Why is this company calling me? I Okay, so I still have a phone number from back when I was in Wisconsin. Um, and I still get I get calls from, from Wisconsin because they type in numbers wrong, I'm assuming. Otherwise, there's no reason um, a, a heating company in Green Bay would be calling me right now. So, uh, I'm not going to answer that, although that might be entertaining for the video. I'm going to skip it. Um, I'm actually just going to put my phone away. Hold up. So, uh, I started my Patreon. And basically what it, what the goal is, what the aim is, and the reason I did it is because what, there's literally not enough people to play a game. Um, for me to justify bringing back Call of Duty content, I know there's a lot of you guys out there who still enjoy watching it. You may watch my Pokemon Go videos, but because you're a fan of me, not because of your, not because you're a fan of Pokemon Go. Um... And there's a lot of you guys who are still fans of me playing Call of Duty, even if you may not like Call of Duty anymore. Um, and I feel you on that. Call of Duty, although Prop Hunt looked really, 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 really fun last weekend in Modern Warfare Remastered, um, it, it's almost like they don't know how to keep an audience... Like, they don't know how to keep their players on their game. Like, if you have... I believe I saw a screenshot about 88% of the entire player base in Modern Warfare Remastered this weekend was playing... A temporary game mode that is literally like a cry out for help like please leave that game mode in here but anyway um, so Call of Duty doesn't I feel like sometimes they just don't know what they're doing uh, or they've got reasons that I don't understand and stuff um, but I started a patreon and we can't even find a game I was in a game earlier I actually started off the day with a warm-up um, sweet I started off a game with a warm-up uh, 11 and 0 I started out and uh, of course streak ended by getting shot on Arkadin. What is going on here? Okay. Um, started the Patreon. Now, there are a couple different goals. There are a couple different tiers. Actually, there's only one different tier for pledges. I don't know how many of you guys are familiar with Patreon, but basically how it works is, let's say you watch a YouTuber like me, Chuck. You like what I do, or you want to see more of what I do. Um, but in order for that to happen, I... I need, I'm doing air quotes, you can't see them, I'm doing air quotes, I need funding. And the only reason I'm saying I need funding is there's an opportunity cost involved with me playing Call of Duty instead of Pokemon Go at this point in my YouTube career. So basically how it's going to work is this. Um, people can pledge a certain amount per month to my Patreon. And basically what you're doing by saying that, or what you're saying by doing that is... Hey, I appreciate what you do. I value your time, your content, my entertainment. Um, my entertainment is in you. Like, like you get entertained. These guys are already loud as shit. So we're going to like the COD clan. Spelt it wrong. That's kind of hard to do because um, it's Call of Duty, not Carl on Duty. God damn it. Um, basically, you're saying I value what you do and um, I'm willing to pay for it. Now, there's a lot of you guys who are not willing to pay for it. And I totally understand. I've never supported a Patreon. However, I also don't wa- Oh my god, Jake the Snake. I also don't watch many YouTubers. I, I watch Pokemon Go videos just to kind of see what people are up to, what they're doing. Um, but like Call of Duty on YouTube... 
Call of Duty in itself doesn't entertain me. It would have to be the person playing it that entertains me. Um, and I think that's why you guys are still here, I think, to watch Call of Duty. Because um, I don't play in a normal way. Like, I don't... I'm not a normal Call of Duty player. I can't sit there and watch somebody, like, hardcore pub stomp on Twitch. I can't do... That's not my scene. Um, but I will occasionally watch, like, a knifing montage or... Um, oh! Or a stream or something. I normally only watch people stream Call of Duty if they're hammered. Is that bad? I feel like I'm really, like... When, when you only support drunk streams, I feel like you, um... It, it's kind of like a car accident, you know what I mean? Like, you, you see something on the highway and you're like, Oh my god, I gotta look at that. I know it's bad. I know I shouldn't be feeding the frenzy, but... That's interesting, I gotta see what happens. So that's kind of how I look at drunk streaming, and that's kind of why I watch it. Because maybe that makes me a bad person? Um... Anyway... So... Here's the deal. As I just said, there's, uh, the link will be below, so if you're already like, oh my god, I'm gonna support this, I don't even need to hear Chuck talk about it. There is a link to my Patreon below, and you can find all the details there, but I'm gonna talk about it, uh, I'm gonna talk about it first. So, you pledge a certain amount every month, and basically if we hit certain reward tiers on the Patreon, there's no way. Jake the Snake can suck a dick, okay? There's no way he's not host. Where is this motherfucker? Okay? He's gonna have a four bar in about four seconds. Ready? Okay, he went down to a three. I'm embarrassed. No. Anyway. Um, and here are... I'm pretty sure Jake the Snake is the dude who shot me to end my 11 and 11 and 0 streak a couple games ago. So fuck you, Jake. Fuck you, Freeland. Anyway. Back to my story Jake keeps sidetracking me from. I still... I mean, I still play pretty well at this game, by the way. Like, when I stream it, I feel like sometimes I'm like still like 80% of what I used to be and if I played it frequently um, which we'll talk about maybe happening um, I can play pretty well anyway because I can still throw knives I still can calculate the arc and the distance and stuff but I'm, I'm sorry I'm getting sidetracked a lot basically there are three different um, goals that we are trying to hit on patreon there's a really good chance we hit none of them but there's an equally good chance just given how supportive my fan base is you guys I you guys honestly the people watching this sometimes I don't cons I don't feel right considering people who watch my videos fans maybe it's because I don't like I I don't li I don't like the word I don't like the word fan. Fuck you, Jake. I'm not a fan of you, okay? Fuck you. Anyway, I don't like the word fan, but uh, supporter. A lot of you guys are have been supporting me for so long that you're not even like this dude shot for. Uh, there are 20 people playing this goddamn game mode, okay? It's been out for I don't even want to do the math. What? I was a ju sophomore, sophomore in college, sophomore, junior, senior, fucking graduated. But nope, senior, leap year. It's been out for like six years, and there are still people shooting, and that makes me, makes my soul hurt. Um, we finished second to Jake the Snake, the shooter, who's like 14th prestige. Um, but here are our three goals for the month. And it, it's a recurring thing, so you can, you can do it once. You could be like, you know what, I'm going to test the waters, I'm going to pledge some money to watch Chuck make more COD videos, but I'm only going to do it once. And I think you have the option to do that. I've never I've never pledged to anybody on Patreon, but I think you can do that if you want or just cancel it after a month um, if things don't go how you want it to. Uh, these maps are awful, but there may only be one lobby on this entire game mode, so we may have to do it. Um, but the goals are if $500 are pledged in a month, basically that could be from... Let's say there's one person watching this and it's Mr. Moneybags and he's got... He's sitting on an extra 50 grand every month, and he's like, <laughs> I'm going to make Chuck play more COD. That's fine. And if one person don't, or, or pledges 500 per month, then we're automatically at that tier. But that's not going to happen. Let's be realistic here. There are there are very few Mr. Moneybags out there. Um, we may end up having to play C-Town, which hurts. Um, but if we if we have 500 pledged, let me pull up uh, what I've, what I've uh, committed to. We will have five additional All or Nothing Live commentaries per month. That is five more than we have right now, which is zero. So that's five total. Because I do one about every every two months, maybe? Every two, every three. If I'm, like, really feeling it and I'm, like, in a COD kick, I might do two in a month. But that never happens. I squeaked. 
So that's our that's our tier. Basically, that means uh, let's say twenty five people are like, you know what? I place. Let's say an average live com is forty five minutes. Um, so if you've got five of them, that's too much math for me to do. Two hundred twenty five minutes. It's almost four hours. Um, God, I'm still good at math. Thank you, college. Um, basically, you're like, okay, you know what? If I'm gonna spend four hours watching, I can value. I, I can I can spend twenty dollars to have four plus hours of entertainment value per month. Um, so basically, if 25 people pledge 20, then we'll be at that goal, and we will have five live comms per month. Um, now, there's there's a couple other things, and there's a, quite a few variables here, so keep listening in case you're interested. We won't talk about this the entire time, but it'll probably cover the first half, and then I'll probably just vent and rant about things, because that's probably what you're here for. Um, anyway, like C-Town. Like, who the fuck voted for C-Town, and why is it still in rotation? And what is that guy doing? Um... The next tier, uh, not tier, the next goal, there, there are tiers and goals and they're completely different things, so the next goal is 1,000 per month. Now, that's that's a lofty goal, okay? I When I came up with these numbers, I was like, you know what, there's a really good chance we don't get anywhere near 500. There's probably only three of you out there who who think that it's worth money for me to watch, you know, four hours extra of, of live comms a month. Maybe there's more, I, I'm not sure. Um, I mean, the last video was pretty well received. A lot of you guys were like, yo, start up that Patreon. I want to support it. So maybe I'm underestimating you guys, um, which which I should know by now not to do, just given how supportive people are on my Twitch. Um, but there's a really good chance we don't even get to 500. However, there is a goal at 1,000, and basically that would include um, all the live comms. We'd have five live comms a month. I would probably do them uh, because they would be in addition to my regular content on my channel. Um, you're not pledging money for me to not make Pokemon Go videos, that's not gonna happen, sorry. Um, but it would be in addition to it, so you'd probably see them, like, if I don't have an upload on a Friday night, it might be, like, a late night Friday night upload, or a late night Saturday night upload, or late night Sunday. I would probably keep them on the weekends, because that's when I have the most free time. Um, so we'd probably do them every weekend, and then if, if we gotta squeeze the next one in, we'll do, you know, maybe two on a weekend or something. Um, god, these guys are just atrocious. Um, the next goal is if we, if we have 1,000 pledged a month, so to break it down in case you guys don't like doing math, that's basically 50 people who are like, you know what, I got 20 spare dollars a month, I, w I want Chuck to make some more COD videos. You will get the five live comments per month in addition to either an FSU, a brand new FSU episode every single month, or a brand new Trolltage every month. Now, here's the deal. If you are a supporter, um, and we're gonna just, we're just gonna cover this part now. This this is called a tier on Patreon. If you're unaware, I had to learn all this stuff myself too. Um, but this is called a tier, and basically what it means is um, if you pledge a certain amount. So if you pledge over twenty dollars, you will be able to vote to decide uh, whether the the monthly special video will be a trolltage or an FSU. Now the reason I'm not throwing say what into the mix is simply because. It's really a wild card. Like, I don't know. I could sit and play Call of Duty for an entire month, nonstop, and may never get enough clips for a say what. Or I could play for a day, get super lucky, and have enough in a couple hours. I have no idea, but I don't want to make a promise I can't keep. I can, however, troll people. There's just no guarantee I'll have reactions, but I'll, I'll do my best. Um, same thing goes for FSUs. I can, I can definitely put one of those together a month if that were the... Oh, I should hit him. Um, if that were the case. Except I can't knife Jake the snake. Um, so you guys will be able to pick that. Um, so if you pledge over 20, you will have access to basically a, a patron. Patron? Patron? I think is what they're called. Not a Patreon. A patron. A patron? A patron. Only feed. So basically you guys get like your own exclusive. Um, I get to communicate you guys in an exclusive uh, little line of communication. Um... And there will be polls basically run every month where you guys get to decide not only on um, what the special video would be if we if we hit that goal, which I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I was sitting there thinking, I'm, I was trying to come up with rewards, and I'm like, you know what? There's a really good chance zero people pledge anything. Um, YouTube's free. YouTube has always been free. I've never charged anybody to watch any of my content. I've been doing it for free for you guys for six years, and there's no reason why anybody would, would be like, hey... Maybe I'm gonna pay for him to make more COD videos. So I, I there's a chance that nobody does it. There's a chance that we blow 500 out of the water. There's a chance we fall short of it. Who knows? I'm I won somehow. 
apparently. That's the problem with Sea Town is this map is so large. It doesn't seem like it because there's so many buildings, but this map is so large that you don't even get to last. So, oh, hopefully I didn't lose it yet. But um, what happened here? Screen turned black. Oh. 27 people now. I'm influential. Um, in addition to being able to vote on um, the special video every month, you also get to decide uh, or at least have a say in what topics I cover during live commentary. So let's say um, there's some of you guys out there who really want to hear me talk about um, politics. Okay, I would really refrain from voting on that. So don't do that. Um, or other YouTubers or my favorite other YouTubers or my favorite um, high school memories or or my favorite car or I just bought a new car by the way so if you haven't been following me on Twitter or Instagram you didn't see that but uh, there will be a video coming on that anyway um, that's a whole different thing um, 450 oh I joined in game Never mind. Um, so you'll get to vote on on topics and stuff like that you can basically control me like a robot um, and also and this is the cool part guys get ready for this uh, and this is limited to right now to 50. However, if there's a lot of people who are like, yo, I want to support this Patreon and I want to change the world. I want to change Chuck's YouTube channel and basically make it how it was back in 2012. We can do that. Uh, there's just less people playing and it's a different game. Um, hold on. I got things to do. Oh, you little cunt. I was getting really cocky. Uh, I'm at first now, though. And that took about half a minute. Anyway. See, I could still make an FSU. I still got an enemy. Don't you worry. Although, I'm not sure what's going on up here. Fuck. And then I die again. So now you guys are like, Chuck, <laughs> you got lucky. Don't kid yourself. Um, you guys will get, if you pledge over $20, that's the number I came up with just off the top of my head. Um, if you pledge over $20 a month, um, you will get a one-time reward of a custom SUK beer koozie. I ordered them for Twitch uh, for a couple... Very supportive Twitch viewers who uh, wanted a koozie. They were like, yo, I, I want a koozie, but I can't sell them on any website that I know of. I have to buy them in bulk and then give them away. But I figured, hey, I'm going to have a bunch left over. Most of you guys have been around my channel long enough that you're probably of drinking age. Or if not, you just want to have something cool to remember the time you spent watching me rant, vent about Call of Duty or life. Jesus. Oh! That would have been nice. Okay, we're on last. Uh, that was actually a pretty good game right there. Uh, let me go for Kilkin, and then I'll, then I'll start talking again. That that lands perfectly. I love that knife. Right there. Okay, maybe not today. Maybe they changed it. Where the fuck is it? Okay, I got time for one more. Somebody's name is Fractured U with, the, with an S-U-C-K clan tag. Not sure if he's saying that I suck, or he sucks, or... Okay, well, I hope, at least I won. At least I, where? How was that dude 18 and 2? Must have joined late to show off to you guys. Um, so not only will you be able to decide the content on my channel, vote on the special montage, um, but you will also get a custom SUK beer koozie. It is black and metallic gold. So it won't get dirty. It's not like white and green or some weird shit. It's black and gold, which is pretty neutral. Pretty manly, if I do say so myself. They should actually be arriving today, but the, this video will go up tomorrow but that so this video is going to go up on wednesday most likely wednesday night um but they should be here today tuesday afternoon and i will have put pictures on twitter so if you're like mm, i kind of want to support chuck uh, i kind of don't he's kind of a piece of shit but i do want to check out the koozie uh go to my twitter i'll have i'll probably have a link to the picture in my in the description of this video to make it easy for you um but yeah, so that's what you would get. And right now, I, I ordered 50 of them, so I've got like 50. My I've got like 48 of them. Um, in the in the off chance that um, more than 48 of you guys pledge $20, which uh, let me just say that would be absolutely incredible. If there's like 50 of you guys watching right now and you're like, yeah, I'm gonna do it. I want a koozie. I want to support Chuck. I love this guy. In that, if that actually happens, I you don't know how ecstatic I would be because I want to make these commentaries. You can tell. I, I get excited when I talk during these commentaries. Um, and it's really, it's more, the gameplay in the background is kind of like a, I don't want to say a filler because a lot of you guys watch like watching me play, but it's really like a podcast format and that's why I love it. 
because I I like being able to vent and rant. I'm like every other person in the world, except I work alone all day and don't have that. I don't have the opportunity to do that. So um, that's kind of what this is. And you guys can control the topics or whatever. Anyway, um, and then there's one more goal. And this one is a high one just in the off chance. People are super supportive and they blow everything out of the water. Um, if we reach $2,000 um, $2, on our Patreon for a monthly thing, Jesus. Um, not only will you get five live commentaries and either a, uh, a Trolltage or an FSU, but there will also be, um, and this is kind of the kicker here, there will also be two streams a month. So they'd be every other Sunday is kind of what I'm looking at right now. Um, some of these details will be probably changed after the fact, so keep an eye out. Um, however, if we hit that first goal and the live comms start pouring in, then I'll keep you guys updated in the videos, so just watch the videos. Um, but if we hit 2,000, I will also be doing two live streams uh, basically every other Sunday. Um, so it might sometimes be three a month. I'm not sure. Um, so boom, there you go. If it's a long month, not February. Okay, that was, that was a stupid joke. Anyway, um, I would be doing two live streams that are open lobbies on basically a COD of, um, of your guys' choice. And uh, we would do either open lobbies on Black Ops 2, Modern Warfare 3, uh, Modern Warfare Remastered, if you want to do... Uh, do they have prop hunt in private matches on there? Because I would totally do that, like, every day of my life. Um, sorry, I'm on a streak. i got to keep playing. Alright guys, I need some people to kill. You're gonna make me wait? Damn it. Mm-mm. You see that dodge I just did there? You see that dodge I pulled? Oh, that would have been dope, but instead I got shot by Jake Man OG Weed. Jake, let me just tell you, your parents are incredibly proud of you, okay? Um, you know what I would do if I were you, Jake? I would call them up right now and just say, you know what, mom? I know you've been waiting for this phone call for your entire life. I have officially put a weed emblem as my clan tag on Call of Duty. Um, I just wanted to thank you for raising me that way. Maybe they would be proud of you. I don't know. It's weird. Sarah's parents, they're not watching this, so I have nothing to lose here. Um, they smoke weed, and we don't. And it's legal here, and it's not legal there. Isn't that weird? Anyway, uh, I guess it's the, the era people grew up in. However... Back to the point. I, I think a lot of people smoke weed and they just don't tell you. Um, I don't though, and I'm being honest with you, because I, like, I used to make so many smoke weed jokes, but at the time I had never smoked weed. Isn't that weird? Isn't that hypocritical? Um, however, I mean, we could talk about stuff like that. That could be a whole topic for a, for a, uh, a vid, a live com. Um, why don't you smoke weed? Type deal. It's scary. I've had scary experiences with it. Okay, anyway, on to the, the rest of this. So basically, we'll be doing um, uh, live streams on Twitch for Patreons only, which basically means, I mean, everybody can watch. You don't have to be a Patreon to watch. Um, however, you guys will be able to decide the game. You'll be able to decide the game modes that we play. And also, if you are a patron, you get to, um, you get first dibs on playing. So let's say there's, there's 18 of you guys who all pledge eight dollars or three dollars or a dollar and you're like i want to play you guys get first dips um however if there's more than 18 of you that want to play on any given day actually 17 because i need to play as well otherwise that wouldn't work um oh f what am i doing i think time was running out please tell me time was running out so that wasn't a complete waste sure good enough um I would probably then just give more higher priority to people who have pledged more or whatever. But I'm not here to discriminate. A dollar means a lot and will definitely help towards a goal. So will three or eight or seven or 420 or 30 or 500. There's if Mr. Moneybag's out there. Um, God, I'm not playing these maps. Why is there not an option to skip? Oh, shit. Anyway, that's that. Um, so I think I covered everything. There are three tiers. Boom, ba doom, ba doom. If you pledge over 20, you get the Sakuzi. You also get to kind of decide the content that that I that I put out there should we hit our goals. Um, and there's also a chance that w there's only one person out there who, who pledges. Who's like, yo, I love Suck. I love Chuck. I love All or Nothing Live Comms. 
this is great background noise. It's worth it for me to pledge $11 to this month. There may only be one person out there who does it, and that's fine. If we fall short, I don't want you guys to feel bad. This isn't like a... This isn't like a desperate cry for help, like, oh my god, give me every penny you have so I can live and you can't. That's not what this is. I don't want people to be like, oh, I'm so sad that you didn't hit your goal. Unless you're sad because you really wanted the content and now you won't get the content. Um, but don't think that I am like dying and struggling and need your money. It's really just... If you guys are really that into this still and you still want that content that uh, brings you back to the good old days or whatever. I mean, I'll, I'll bring Freeland. Maybe if we get like 8,000, I'll fly Freeland. Yeah, I'm going to throw I'm gonna throw a random tier of like 5,000 just as like a joke. Like a 5,000, if we get 5,000 in one month, I will fly Freeland out here and do it just and literally make a three second video. I have to get Freeland to agree to this, but I'm sure he will. Um, and make a three second video that is just me staring him in the face that just says, fuck you, Freeland. I will literally, I will do that. But again, that requires quite a bit of, quite a bit of support. And that's kind of going to be a joke. So don't look at that and be like, oh, look at this money whore. Um, Freeland flying out of West Virginia probably costs like 3000 because I don't think they have airport technology yet. Um, but there you have it. That's it. I guess that wasn't as painful as I thought it'd be. Like, when I came up with the idea, I was like, oh my god, this is brilliant. This is a good way for people to who want content that doesn't... I'm going to give you an analogy, actually. And I'm, I'm going to leave this fucking game, because I'm sick of being shot on Seatown. That just is not fun for anybody. Um, I'm going to actually play... Let's play a game of Infected real quick. Is that all right with you? You can't answer, so I guess you're okay with it. Um, and then, oh my god, of course we get fucking Fallen. Um, and we can also play different games. So let's say we do three A1 live comms in a row, and you're like, you know what? I want to watch you snipe on Modern Warfare 2. I'm down for that. I can snipe on any game. I would do it. Or knife on any game, or different game modes, or whatever you guys want to see. Um, here's the way I look at it, and this is um, this is like an incredible analogy, and I'm super proud of myself for coming up with it, and this may be a, a better way for you guys to think of it. Think of Patreon for my channel kind of like a jukebox at a bar, okay? When you go to a bar, there's music playing, and generally it is popular, it is it is um, common, it is pleasing to at least 80% of the people in there, um, because as a business owner, whoever's playing the music wants people to stay there and come back and whatever. And that's kind of how Pokemon Go is right now on my channel. However, there is also a jukebox at said bar, and it's tucked away in a corner, and on that jukebox is a bunch of music, um, like, for instance, back when I was little, and when I say little, I mean probably like 5th, 6th grade, maybe 7th grade, when we would go bowling at this kind of ghetto-ish bowling alley, although I didn't live in a ghetto area, it was just kind of run down. Um, that's not gonna work, I'm not sure what's going on there, but I died, so fuck me in the ass. At least I know where that fucker is. Bitch ass slut whore. I'm gonna fucking murder his family. Oh, he was on the other team, okay. Well, I'm an idiot. Um, we used to pl we used to request this song in the jukebox. It was like 50 cents. We would always request "Sucking on My Titties." I don't even know what the song was, but we thought it was the funniest thing in the world. Eat a dick. Funniest thing in the world to request "Sucking on My Titties," like you something. What I don't know what that song is, but it's something about sucking on titties, and we used to request that at a bowling alley. So anyway, that's a song that when it plays, people are like, "Uh, why am I here? I should leave." And that's kind of how I want you guys to think of it. There's basically if you want to DJ, the the way that, if you want to DJ my channel type deal, the way that it makes sense for me as a business owner is to have people pay to have content on it that is not what most people want to see. You know what I mean? Um, so think of it as I can either have Jesus Christ. Uh, he's not going to show up on my channel. Jesus Christ does not like me. Um, however... We can either have the, the popular stuff that everybody likes to see, 80% minimum, whatever, um, or the what the 5% want to see, or here, or whatever. Um, and that's that's where the jukebox comes in, and you can you, you plug, some, plug some quarters into a jukebox, and you play Sucking On My Titties, and everybody leaves. That's kind of how it is. That's kind of how I look at it, and I, I'm proud of that analogy, but, but saying it out loud and talking about Sucking On My Titties probably doesn't doesn't give off the same effect. Um, however, that's that's the way I look at it. So if you guys want to see it, um, 
Let's do this. Let's do this thing. Let's bring some COD back. Um, there are some... So I was actually looking at, at Patreons for other YouTubers just to... Because I, I'm interested to see how other people value their time. And I saw a couple and it was like... If we... Uh, if we raise like 10 grand, I will give you a sneak peek of a thumbnail of a video. And I'm like, that's... You need 10 grand to put a sneak peek of a thumb... Are you kidding? So, there are some YouTubers out there who have um, pretty lofty goals with not very high rewards. And I will come up with other things. I'm, like, I'll probably order a bunch of shirts or something that are limited edition to for Patreons. Um, I also won't include this link on any of my Pokemon Go videos. So, this is kind of like a... If you support me and my channel and you're watching this video, um, God, where are these fucking people? Where are the hiding spots? I can't even remember. Um, that's a fuck. That was a bush. I thought that was a person. These motherfuckers. They're under cars somewhere. I know it. Or on a fucking light post. Shit. Oh my god, somebody got him. Oh my god, did we just win? Defeated. Oh no, Don't we didn't. Fuck. Okay, that's a buzzkill. Back to all or nothing, I think. Although that, that might be more exciting when there's only 20 people playing AON. Um, but yeah, I, I hope the goals are reasonable. Like, like if we're 24 hours in after this video is up and there's been like $8 pledged, then I know basically that Call of Duty on my channel is a thing of the past. And that's, I mean, that's fine. That's that's what I need probably to see for, to realize that people just don't care enough to see it anymore. Um, so that's where I'm at. And if, if it gets blown away and we raised a thousand in 24 hours, then I got to get my ass started on an FSU or a Troll Tosh. And that's, I mean, you guys can basically decide the future of my channel, kind of, or at least half of the future. So... Hopefully that sounds cool to you guys. Hopefully that's something you guys are into. If not, I, I don't... I won't feel upset. Don't worry. Don't you worry about me. Um, What else is going on in my life? By the way, I will add extra rewards probably to um, certain donation tiers. So, like, if you pledge... I think the minimum is going to be 20. Anything under 20, obviously I love you. I, thank you. That's awesome. Um, but I'll start it at 20 just because... Um, if I'm spending all my time shipping out koozies to 800 different, if 800 people pledge a buck, um, well, then I won't have time to make the video, and then that's <laughs> that's a whole other story. But um, so I'll probably have one at 20, and then something at like 100, where you get like a signed T-shirt or some diddly do or a signed hoodie or so something like that. I'll really? Fuck ass. What is this gun I'm using? By the by. Okay. Well, thanks for fucking nothing. Dick ass fucking slut bitch fuck shit. Okay? Catch it. You're gonna tell me that didn't hit? Okay, these guys don't see me, do they? No, they're all ass anyway. Oh my god, I was about to get a quad. I was about to quad these bitches. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna trick shot. You know, it's last. It's last. SND. Hold on, I can get this. That would have been the bank shot for a lifetime. You think I'm coming around the other way? I'm not. I'm right here. Sorry. Um, where else do we have our enemies? Right the other side of the map. Back in the corner of Burger Town, it looks like. Um, so, a couple... Th I, it's been a really stressful... I don't want to say stressful, because I was... I was trying to, think, oh, trying to come up with a word to describe my life right now. And stressful isn't the word. I'm not stressed because I enjoy working. I enjoy working. I enjoy everything that comes alongside working. Um, like growing a brand and business channel type deal. But I think I found a word. I found a word to describe my life at the moment. And that is that is frustrating. Now here's why. And I don't want anybody to take it the wrong way. The reason my life right now, just the past month. I'm going to say the past month is frustrating. Is because... I know exactly what I should be doing with my time, and it's YouTube, because my channel is doing incredible. Um, however, I've had so many different things pop up and happen over the past two months that it is just, it's frustrating because I know what I should be spending my time on, but I can't. 
Like, we went on a week-long vacation to see Sarah's parents. But that was planned months in advance, so I didn't know that that was going to be whatever. Um, computer broke. Got a new computer, though, and I love it, and it's fantastic, and it's phenomenal, and you can't even hear it. I remember doing live comms back in the day, and my computer was always so loud that you could hear, like, a mm, in the background of every single live com. But now you can't hear that, so that's good. Um, what else? Taxes. Some very complicated tax stuff going on. No, I'm not in trouble. Don't worry. Um, just some complicated tax stuff. I bought a car on the 30th, like five days ago. I bought a car, a BMW X6M, 555 horsepower, 0 to 60, and a little tad bit over four seconds. So it's faster than my old car, even though it weighs like twice as much. But uh, that'll be a whole different video. So if you guys are into cars, that'll be something separate. Um, just have to fix some things on it. Uh, clean out the interior because it's white. And as you can imagine, with a white interior over a couple of years, it gets a little not white. So we're going to fix that. Um, what else has been going on? Um, Pokemon cards. Okay. Now, I used to be absolutely obsessed with collecting Pokemon cards when I was little. I probably, I think I probably at one point had every single card that you could have for the first couple of years. But once I hit like 10 years old, either A, my parents were like, holy shit, we're not going to buy him any more Pokemon cards. Or B, I was like, eh, I've got them all. I'm done collecting them. Uh, but I traded away like my first edition Charizard, Blastoise, stuff like that. So those are all gone, unfortunately. Um, fuck you, neighbor, for ripping me off. Uh, but then I've gotten into opening booster boxes recently. Um, because some, I mean, if you get lucky, you can resell them and make money. Um, but it's not only that. It's like I can get my... Sarah and I can have an entire night of entertainment literally just opening up one booster box of Pokemon cards. Like, I'm talking, like, two hours to open it, plus another couple to organize it, and boom, we have a full night's entertainment just opening Pokemon cards. Um, but then we made the really bad decision to organize every single one of them in order of Pokedex number. Now, as you can imagine, when you sort all these cards out, I just ballpark, I'm guessing we probably have, like, 5,000 cards, although I'm not really sure how to tell. Um... But if, when you're going through and organizing them, and let's say you're at Pokemon number 700 and you realized you forgot to put in one card at for Pokemon number 303, yeah, you can imagine how, how painstaking it is. Even if we leave some spots in between just in case you missed one, um, it's still a pain in the ass. So I've been doing that for two days straight. Um, and it's all my fault. Like, it's not like I have all these uh, crazy circumstances that are like, Oh my god, I can't do anything because I have to go to... It's not like jury duty. I'm doing these things willingly, but they're getting in the way. Like, my brain can't... It's struggling to prioritize right now. Um, I don't know what it is. Maybe... I don't know what it is. I don't know. Um, but maybe you guys have felt the same way. And I think uh, a lot of people in a lot of different situations can relate to it. So, if you're still watching this, by the way... You are an absolute legend, and I want you to leave a comment about raspberries, okay? Anything about raspberries at all, remember there is a P in raspberries. It is not spelled like it is in Pokemon Go. There is a P. It's a raspberry. Anyway, we're going to go flawless this game, and I'm going to continue my story. There's a lot of people in a lot of different situations in life that can probably relate to the whole, like, you you almost forgot how to prioritize. Um, college. If any of you guys are in college, even high school. You know at a certain point, holy shit, I need to kick it into high gear. My grades need to get up. Um, this is, I'm basically deciding my life right now. Do I want, do I want to go to this party this weekend? Or do I want to study and get straight A's and go have a good job? Um, and most people in college will choose to go to the party. Even though you know deep down, shit, I should be, I should be doing something else. So I've, that's kind of how it's been. And it's also the fact that I have a new car that I want to play with and, and, just enjoy like I wanted to give myself a couple days to enjoy a car because it's not cheap to buy a car and I'm a huge car fan so I wanted to enjoy it before getting back to work and grinding it out again for another year um, but yeah it's sometimes it's hard to prioritize and I like I know what I need to do but there if at a certain point, you have so much on the table that you're like, fuck it, I'm just going to do something completely different and not do anything I need to. And that brings me back to college where, like, I would wake up and I'd be like, oh, my God, I have to go to this 8 a.m. class or I'm going to fail. And then I would lay there and justify to myself, okay, you know what, I probably won't fail as long as I study later today about this class. 
And then a couple hours later, you wake up. You're like, okay, uh, I don't want to study. I think I'm going to go play basketball. And you, you start putting basketball or going to a party or, or fucking playing COD for eight hours with your roommate over studying and then shit gets out of control and you feel overwhelmed and leads to stress and stress leads to depression. Although for me it's different. I don't... I, way back in the day, no, way back in the day, probably a couple years ago, uh, my sister probably defined me um, in probably the best way, the best like two-word definition that I've ever had. Um, my attitude my personality is basically what an antidepressant does to you like i am i don't get like depressed i will i get stre i get stressed but i enjoy being stressed out um so my natural personality is basically what an antidepressant does to a depressed person i guess i mean i went through spurts in like college and high school and stuff where i was a little depressed but most of it was like um, girl issues or, you know, just not knowing what the hell I was doing with my life or, um, in high school, not making the basketball team because I didn't know how to play defense in basketball. Um, not, no, I, I knew how to play defense. I just didn't want to. I just didn't want to. And I wasn't very athletically gifted, which sucks. That That's a whole nother topic. Um, shout out to all the parents who held their child back an extra year so that they could be good at high school football. Hopefully that paid off for you. Anyway, um... God, we've talked about a bajillion things today. And I can't get to last because I keep fucking dying and there's only five people in here. So you die, you're not going to see somebody for half a minute. And this motherfuck... How did you shoot? There's no way. Parsley spliff 420. Fucking son of a cunt. You son of a fuck. Are you f every fucking person? Out knifes me. Was that Parsley? That's Parsley. Bitch ass. I bet Parsley's going to spawn over here. I'm wrong. Let's go. Um, but I have no idea how long we've been doing this for. But I believe uh, I believe we're gonna call it after this episode, just because um, what I want to do in the future is uh, I'm recording this midday. A lot of people are at school or work or whatever, um, so there's not many people playing it. But what I want to do is once we start up this Patreon, um, if you pledge anything over like a dollar, I'll probably give you access to play with me during live comms. Um, but obviously give priority to people who pledge more, somehow. We'll figure out a way. That should have been last kill. Fuck you, Paisley. Parsley. Whatever the fuck your name is. Um, Quality Knife. Shout out to you, going one and two. But yeah, I, th I think that basically covers everything I needed to talk about today. What else is there going on with my life? I'm not going to play another game right now, but I, I do... What else do I have going on? What else do I want to talk about? We may be getting a new cat. We may be getting a cat in addition to Olive, in which case we may turn into one of those couples that vlogs our cat, cat's entire life and makes an Instagram for, even though we already have one for Olive. Um, but we'll see. We'll see about the cat. That will be like July. So I'm not sure that that'll happen anytime soon. But I, I think that covers it. I don't know what else there is. I'm going to look outside, tell you what, give you an update. Uh, it looks like it's been raining. I will take rain over snow any day of the week because I like the smell. Snow doesn't smell. Although I do like how quiet it gets when it snows. Anyway, I love you guys. If you're still here and you've already left a comment about raspberries, I want you to give yourself a pat on the back. Remember, it is not obligated. You should not feel obligated. Um, it is not necessary is what I should have said. Uh, it's not necessary for you to support the Patreon. However, if you want to see more Call of Duty content on this channel right here, right now, uh, I mean, honestly, if we hit our goal... Uh, that 500 goal, I'll have another live come out within a couple days. So, it's up to you guys. It is in your hands now. Um, if we don't hit the goal, then I probably won't talk to you through this platform for another month or two or whatever. Um, but, yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's how things are going now. I love you guys. And I will see you all, hopefully, in a couple days, maybe. We'll see. Take it easy. Peace.